This video illustrates how to use the String Reader interactive utility. We begin by opening an image that will be used to create a font. We go on to create a String Reader context. A context requires a font, first and foremost. Notice the tooltip with the corresponding MIL API call. We will define the font using the character strings in the image. We could also use a pre-existing system font if one applies. We indicate the characters found in the image. Notice that a space is used to delineate each line. The font is created as shown. We typically need to normalize characters to the same reference size. We can sort the font in a systematic order for easier verification. We can view details on a given character. We can even generate an image of a character string using the font. Once the font is defined, we specify the string model. In this case, the string to read is composed of exactly six characters. We now load an image with the character string to read. We proceed to read the character string. The read results are provided in a table. The table can be expanded to show the read results for each character in the string. We adjust the reference size of the characters in the font to introduce an error. The latest font settings prevent the reading of the character strings. We turn to the String Expert tool to diagnose the problem. We type in the character string we expect to read and run String Expert. String Expert tells us why the character string cannot be read. We look at the read result for the expected character size.
we adjust the string scale reference accordingly and read the character string. You can easily set up an experiment with String Reader using its interactive utility.